Hi, in this video, let's find out which is faster, Python or Julia. Let's start with Python. So over here, I have made a simple for loop. It is just meant to calculate the square of numbers and store them. So I will start with storing first the square of 10 numbers, then I'll multiply it by 10. So 10, 100, 1000, so on. So I have written the code so that it will give us the time for the whole computation. We will also do this exercise for Julia and the code will be slightly different but it will be same kind of a thing which we are trying to do. Squaring the first 10, 100, 1000 and so on numbers and storing them. Let's start with 10 and if you remember in Python we have to do a range 1, 11 to make the square of the numbers from 1 to 10 because the last 11 will not be included in this range thing. So let's start. So it took 0 0.0001 seconds. So it has taken more than the Python timing. Let's increase it to first 100 numbers. So I'll have to put a 0 inside here. It's 0 0.0002. Let's increase one more zero to make it to the first thousand. It's 0 0.0008. Now let's increase it to 10,000. Now it's 0. 0106 Let's increase it to 100,000 It's 0 0.09 Let's increase it to 1 million This is 0.7604 Let's increase it to 10 million. Let's increase it to 100 million. I have also taken down these numbers on a Google spreadsheet so that you guys can understand what actually is happening with the duration. So you can see the Python duration and Julia duration has been written over here and we have written down the number of uh, squares which we are doing. So also the x axis is in the log scale. So it's like if I go one unit ahead I have to multiply my value by 100 times. You go from 100 to 100 into 100 and so on. Let's understand these two graphs. What do they mean? So the first graph over here in the y axis, it's just a normal scale. And you can pretty much see that till this point, now this point is 1 million, till 1 million iterations, which will be this thing, there is actually very close kind of a relation between Python and Julia. And as the time required or the duration needed is very small, so you really cannot compare them. But still, till that point, Python performs better. But after that point, if we increase it to 10 million or 100 million, Julia definitely is lot, lot better. And you can see that the red line is very below the Python blue line. And over here, I have also made the y-axis in terms of log scale. So if you go one unit above, it gets multiplied by 10 times. So you can pretty much see that the Julia is pretty flat. And after a point, it starts rising. But for Python, it starts rising very early in the sequence of our activity. So it's like a very straight line for Python. But for Julia, it's a flat line in the beginning, then a straight line will kick in. So for smaller computations, you can pretty much see that you can choose either Julia or Python, maybe Python, if you are familiar with Python. 
but for larger computations julia definitely performs very well and you might be tempted to say that julia is only uh, slightly better than python but no this is a log scale so this small gap is not really in terms of actual unit gap but every unit is 10 times right so this is a big big gap over here and that can be seen here here the gap is pronounced because the y scale is a normal scale so you can pretty much understand how good julia is in doing the for loop computations now obviously if you do a different kinds of mathematical operations you will have a more comprehensive answer but this was a good way to understand which of python and julia is going to be faster for for loop computations if you like this video do get a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because in this channel you can find content related to julia data science maths economics finance and any kind of knowledge